Ron DeSanctimonious signed a new squatter bill in Florida, y'all. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about what I think about it. All right, guys, today we're talking about squatters. And my guy, Ron DeSanctimonious. I kid. Ron's cool, right? Ron is cool. This man, um, you know, he's not uh, charismatic enough to, to be our president in 2024. That has been established, okay? Yes, yes, he does wear high heels under his cowboy boots. I get it. I'm a short dude, all right? I get it, Ron. But, you know, sometimes you just got to own that, bro. Put the heels down, okay? Uh, but all kidding aside, what Ron does uh, as a governor of Florida is fucking great, okay? The man governs with fucking common sense, guys. Common sense is something that we do not have in this country, right? All these liberal markets, right? These liberal fucking places. New York, California, that dirty shithole Portland. Like, dude, what are these people doing, okay? It's insane, right? And I actually just talked about uh, another story recently. Uh, that poor woman who got arrested in New York uh, because she tried to evict squatters from her own house. Dude, this poor chick had a million-dollar house in New York, wasn't a landlord. These motherfuckers broke in, and she tried to evict them, uh, and she actually went to jail, okay? And that's terrible. We can't have things like that happening. And Florida, Ron DeSantis here, right, they're trying to prevent that. And I think that they did it the perfect way, okay? Because what they did, right, is they put the law on the side of the rightful property owner, right? They made it so much easier uh, for a property owner, easier and faster, quicker, more efficient, cheaper for a property owner to prove that their property was indeed stolen, right? Because when you're uh, a police officer, okay, when you're a police officer, if you get called to the scene, it's a he said, she said, right? Like, People will randomly show up with paperwork, right? So you get called to the scene. Somebody's in a house. You got one per two people are in a house, right? You got the landlord and the tenant in the house. This person's like, dude, this is my house. They stole my house. And then this person over here is like, dude, what are you talking about? This is my house, right? They're arguing, right? And the cop, you know, they can't legislate from the field. You can't legislate. You can't, uh, you know fucking be the judge jury and executioner right from the police car right then and there right so somebody needs to be able to prove it so normally uh the process to do this uh is is cumbersome to the property owner and it takes a lot of time and effort and that's bad we can't have that right that's liberal bullshit right the liberals love that shit because you know they fucking hate america okay and they think stealing's cool because like fuck the property owner yo fucking Fuck them. We need help, right? Just a bunch of, you know, just maniacal, maniac bullshit, right? We can't have that happening, okay? Uh, but we also just can't have, like, people going in like that woman, you know, unfortunately for her in New York, just, like, breaking in uh, and, and getting away with it because then the, the same squatters that are stealing your property would just steal your property from the back door. They would do it the other way, right? Like, now your property's empty. They steal your property by going inside of it. Uh, and then when you break in... You know, they call the police on you claiming they're a tenant and then the police are mad at you, right? Well, if we're like, well, they can't do that. The police should just remove the tenant right then and there. Well, if we did it that way, they would just steal it the other way, guys. Like you would be sitting in your own property and then they would just break in while you're sitting in there and they'd be like, ah, oh, you stole my property. Here's my deed. And then the cops come and they kick your ass out again, right? So the same fucking pieces of shit that are stealing your house, guys, uh, if we went the wrong way, uh, they would steal it just doing it uh, reversing the rules, so to speak, right? So you can't have that. Uh, but what I think they did in Florida, fucking common sense governing here, right? This is fucking landlord-tenant housing law, fucking common sense 101. What they did is smart. They made the process, it's still a process, but they made it quicker, easier, more efficient for the owner to prove they are, in fact, the owner, and that these people are not real tenants, and these people are not the owner, and they just stole the property, right? So they made that so much easier to get those motherfuckers out. And then here, here is the key. This is the key to the whole thing. Afterwards, folks, afterwards, after you prove that, what they added, these are the key. This is, this is the sauce 
a first degree misdemeanor for making a false statement and writing to obtain real property or for knowingly and willfully presenting a falsehood document conveying property rights, right? That is the key. A second degree felony for any person who unlawfully occupies or trespasses in a residential dwelling who intentionally causes a thousand or more in damage. A first degree felony for knowingly advertising the sale or rent of a residential property without legal authority or ownership. Right here, dude, that's the sauce. That is why this is so fucking good, okay? Because if you're in one of those wonky-ass liberal places, sorry, California, New York, that dirty, dirty, dirty shithole Portland where they're just fucking shitting and shooting up fentanyl on the fucking streets in their tents, right? If you're in one of those fucking hell holes and you own a home, some piece of shit's going to come squat in your home, steal your home, you're going to fucking go through the proper channels, and it's going to take you months upon months upon months to remove those pieces of crap, okay? Eventually, Lord willing, you should be able to remove those pieces of garbage from your property. But where is the punishment to them? What is to stop them from doing that to the next schmo? Sure, they're done doing it to you, but... There's like a wake of destruction that is left to you, right? They ruined your fucking life probably, right? They've probably done thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of damage to your home, number one. All the money you lost uh, fighting the case, the time, right? The emotional trauma, okay? How do you get uh, restitution from them? Somebody's like, oh, you gotta fucking sue them. Okay. Thanks, Kyle. Great fucking idea. They're fucking doing heroin in the streets, shitting in sewers, fucking licking fentanyl off each other all day. You're going to sue them? What happens when you sue someone, guys? You get a judgment. That's a piece of paper. Then after that, you could lean their assets, okay? Or you could garnish their wages, sure. Do y'all think motherfuckers doing fentanyl in a tent in the middle of the street who have no house other than to just randomly break into some innocent citizen's house have anything you could fucking lean or garnish? You fucking idiots. You fucking inbred morons. You have to be full-blown fucking retarded to believe. Hey, don't worry. Hey, F it's 2024. Retarded is in now. It is no longer a canceled term. Retarded's back, guys. Seriously. Anyway, do you really think that you can garnish anything from these people? They're fucking homeless. If they weren't fucking homeless, they wouldn't have stole your house, you assholes. So, essentially, prior to this bill, there's, there's no... There's no deterrent for these fucking animals, okay? So they come in, they steal your home, they ruin your life... You finally, after months and months and months and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, you finally get what's yours back. And all that happens is they just scurry on down the road and they do it to the next piece of shit, poor bastard. And the next one. And the next one. And the next one. Not anymore, though. My guy, Ron. Stop that. Because now those motherfuckers go to jail for that shit. And that, folks, is the perfect way to solve this problem. I know a lot of people, and again, my initial gut reaction here is to think, you shouldn't have to go through the regal channels, man. You should be allowed to just remove them. But again, that opens the door to the same pieces of shit stealing from you, just doing it in a different way. Right now, they're stealing from you claiming to be tenants. If you could just remove them immediately, you'll be sitting in your living room and they'll steal from you claiming to be the owner. So you can't do that. This is a perfect balance. And the key, though, the key, folks is the criminal charges after the fact, okay? There's a lot more evictions in this country. There's a lot more issue with people getting evicted, stealing homes, essentially, from landlords than there are uh, car thefts. Why is that? Because when you steal a car, you go to jail. People don't like going to jail, okay? When you commit a crime, you get punished by the law, okay? Part of the reason we punish criminals is because they need to be punished for their action. But the other reason, besides the punishment aspect, is you need a deterrent. You need other people to see, No! If I steal a car, I go to jail. If I go to jail, 
I end up in a cell with Big Bubba, and then it hurts when I sit down. You know what I'm saying? There needs to be a deterrent, okay? If there's no deterrent, people will steal because there's nothing keeping them from doing it. So right now, before bills like this get passed, y'all, there is no like repercussions that actually apply to the people whom are doing it. Again, you get all the people like, you got to sue them. They don't own anything, idiots. You can't get water from a rock, you retarded idiots. But this, this is the way to do it. If you have nothing of value that I could take, I'm going to take the only thing you do have, you fucking drug addicted piece of shit, and that is your freedom. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.